So our footer is identified with the ID footer, so this makes it really easy to access it within our CSS. Uh, so one of the things that we need to do is to clear, we need to clear both the, the float lefts for this one. And essentially this will prevent the footer from being pulled over uh, to any one of these sides if there's some available spacing. Uh, although we did take a full 100% there, uh, whenever you're, uh, you've got the spacing there, sometimes you'll see that the bottom will actually go into that space and we definitely don't want that to happen. The other thing too with the footer, I want to text align. So I'm just going to do a text align center because normally you see the footing uh, aligned in the center. Maybe we want to add in some margins as well. So I can add in a top and bottom margin of 20 picks to center that text a little bit more. Maybe set do a zero for the margins left and right. And as well, we're going to add in some padding so that we can have some spacing between that main content area. And we might want to reserve some padding on the left and the right. Uh, although this is not exactly necessary because we've already centered, aligned our text, uh, but this is something that can be added in as a just-in-case precaution uh, so that we're not taking up too much space uh, that we want to allocate for the rest of our elements. So there we go. So now we've got a fully functional website. We've got all of these uh, hover links working, so everything looks to be working pretty good. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can make it responsive because it's not responsive and our menu gets all mixed up here whenever we are trying to make it responsive. Uh, so this is something that we've got to add in. And whenever we're looking at our initial design, so we've got our basic design up and running. As we can see here, uh, we've got essentially the layout that we had looked at. Uh, so we've got our footer area here. We've got content one. Just going to refresh that. So we've got the, the main content area, uh, left side, right side, our welcome page, and our upper header here. Uh, so in the next lesson, we got to make it responsive. So that's coming up.